I'm Suzanne from the Computer Workshop. Today we're going to talk about Excel freezing panes. Have you ever had a long document that when you scroll down, your headers disappear and you can no longer tell what column you're in? This is a problem that many of us experience when using large Excel spreadsheets. Let's take a look at freezing panes and see if we can come to a solution for this problem. In this document, I've got about 10 columns of information and about 2,000 lines of data. I want to use freeze panes to help me um, not deal with the top row scrolling away and, not, and also not have to deal with the left column disappearing when I scroll to the right. So the freeze panes feature is located on the view tab in the ribbon. And when we look at freeze panes, you'll notice there are three different options. The first one would be freezing a row and column or rows and columns together. The second one just freezes the top row, and that's only a single row. And the third one is going to freeze the first column. So let's take a look at that one first. If I choose first column and then scroll over to the right, now you'll notice that I don't have to um, worry about that first column disappearing anymore. I can scroll my data. I can scroll it as close as I need to. So if I want to see that sales number or I want to see the ship date, I can scroll those and stop them right next to the company name. So that is turning on freeze panes for the first column. Now, when I um, want to turn that feature off, or change it, I can click the freeze panes drop down again, and you'll notice that the first option has become unfreeze panes. So I'm going to click on unfreeze panes, and that allows me to um, just basically revert back to what we had before we turned the feature on in the first place. So the next thing I want to talk about then is using the freeze panes option where I can freeze both rows and columns. So in this case, in order to determine where the first point of movement will be, I need to select the first cell that is going to be both below and to the right of where I want my data to freeze. So since I want row five to be frozen and column A, that would make B6 the first value that will be pivotal data. So I'm gonna select that cell. I'm gonna go back up and choose freeze panes, the first option from the dropdown. I'm going to scroll down and you'll notice that the header does not disappear. I can also scroll to the right just like we when we had the first column frozen and it just slides right under the rest of the data. So with this option selected um, you don't have to worry about losing important information that could be at the top or the left hand side of your data. Now I also want to point out that if I select a cell out off of that initial cell and then use the keyboard shortcut control home to go back to the beginning of my document, you'll notice that the beginning of the document is now B6. It's not A1, which would normally be where control home would put you. So B6 is now considered the beginning of the document. Once you've saved your document, Freeze panes will be available every time you need it. If you need to turn the feature off, simply go back to the View tab, click the Freeze Panes drop-down, and choose Unfreeze Panes. Otherwise, you can leave it set up the way that we have it now, and it will always be available for your use. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this segment on Excel Freezing Panes. If you liked it, click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time on Learn for Free Fridays.